So the other day I did a uh, tutorial for Effects Factory and I showed off this plugin called Punchline. And in that tutorial I said something wrong and after I did it the the people at Effects Factory contacted me and they went, "Uh no, that's wrong." So um what I what I had said is that when you install Effects Factory it installs all these plugins, which is true. But what I didn't know how to do was that if you roll over these guys and click on this little checkbox it will either show it or not show it in your final cut. So you can disable them so they don't clutter your theme browser over here. That was something that I just didn't know and now I feel much smarter and I'm glad I know that. But today I'm going to talk about this plugin called um, Callouts. Now this is uh, made by Ripple Training and um, I'm going to guess that Mark Spencer was very deeply involved in all this. Uh, brilliant motion dude. So what I want to do, um, I've literally been playing with this for like, you know, 20, 30 minutes, if that, maybe less. And I want to show you some things uh, that I learned how to do. So here we are in the Final Cut 10. And basically, this is my same dumb demo footage from the very blue room. And I'm going to do three very simple things. When you um, open up your theme browser over here in the Final Cut 10, and you scroll down, you see callouts. And here they are. Here are um, what is it? Ten different types of callouts, and you know there's different types, and you can um, roll over here and see samples and stuff. But I'm going to show you three really simple ones, um, but increasing um, level of difficulty. So number one is this thing, animated text, and this um, this is just when you see this, it's like uh, okay, it's no big deal. It's just kind of animates in. I mean, this is like. You know, what is this, like, live type from days gone by? But here's the thing that's cool about it. Mark has made this in such a way that you can very quickly select, do I want to blur in, fade in, scale in? So let's go scale in, uh, slide out, and I'm done. And it previews very quickly. Wait, I missed it. It happened too quick. So there it is, scaling in and sliding out. So very simple um, what he's done with the rigging and I am not ever going to try and figure that out but you know this is the kind of stuff that like Mark is you know genius boy at so very impressive let's do actually let's do a little a little tiny um, uh, let me see if I can do this so we go position I'm going to make a keyframe there and then I'm going to come and click down here and I'm going to drag this down I got to use this little handle handle job and I'm done, right? And so there it is, very simple. So that's just um, the simplest of things that Callouts does. Now, um, the next thing I wanna do is what is called pointers. So I got this thing, I've had help. So I'm gonna bring this pointer guy and I'm gonna drag it over the shot. And what does it do? Okay, so it has some optional text which is hard to read over this. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna double click on the text and I'm gonna go um, free because I happen to know they were giving away iPads at this corporate event. And it doesn't read so well, so we're gonna come down here, we're gonna make it um, brighterer, and we'll make it bolderer. So there we go, okay? But it's also too long, so we're gonna take, if I click on this guy, I get my handles. Now, what you, what you usually have is a start and stop handle, and somewhere in the middle, one of these guys is like the master grabber guy. Okay, so we're gonna come over this shot and we're gonna make this guy shorter. Now it's kind of confusing because my master grabber guy is getting kind of messed up in there. And then I drag this guy here and maybe I'll make this, uh, there's my master grabber guy. Uh, and now this is my master grabber. So there we're gonna go. And then we're gonna go, what's it do? It, it kind of animates in, cool. And then it's a short shot, so I'm going to just drag this guy down to match the length of the shot. And actually, I don't want it to animate out. So if I come over here, I go Publish Parameters, Animate In, Animate Out. I'm just going to have it cut out. There we go. So now here's our second animated thing. Boom. Free iPad, yeah. And then the next thing that this one blew me away. So when I saw this, I went, okay, done. This is, this is an awesome plugin. Now, um, so here's some guys uh, eating dinner, right? And let's say, so once he puts the food there, I'm going to um, I'm gonna hit, I think it's Command-H. Well, no, that hides the app. Ha, 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 ha. 
Um, what is it? Is it Shift H? It's uh, this is lame. Retime. Hold Shift H. I should have done Shift H. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is it's going to play in real time and it's going to go freeze. Look at me, I have dinner, and then I'm going to do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do what I think is the coolest one because of the way he's got. Well, actually, magnify is really cool too. I'm not going to talk about that one. So I'm going to bring this guy on, and this I just I see myself using this. Now, what does this one do? It circle line text. Okay, cool. First thing I want to do is I'm going to make this freeze frame a little longer. That was easy. Um, I'm going to fix the text because this black thin text is not is not making me happy. Scroll down here. Go white. I probably should have moved this over closer, huh? <laughs> um, so I'm going to make that white and we'll make it bolder and whatever. And we'll go, um, I don't know, uh, yummy dinner. Okay. Diner, dinner told you I don't spell well. Um, and then what I want to do is I'm going to click outside here to stop editing the text. So as is the case with these guys, there's usually a master grabber guy. So here's my master grabber. So I'm going to drag this over here. And then I'm going to take this guy and make it a little shorter. I'm going to make this guy bring it over here. I think there's a grid to align all this stuff, yeah, grid, so you can like check out whether or not you're level and stuff. So there, okay, now we're level. I'm gonna grab my text. It's centered on that. I'm gonna turn my grid off. Now check out how easy that was to do. Woo -hoo, yummy dinner. Okay, then we'll do the same thing. We're gonna make this like this. I got news for you. This is a lot of keyframes, okay? And, you know, I could do other stuff like, you know, I can change the color of the thing, you know, I can make the color of the thing, I can make change the color of the line. So it's very, very powerful and very, very fast. And I just, I just think Mark nailed this thing. It's so cool. So anyway, that's like the simplest uh, walkthrough of callouts, again, available at FX Factory. Um, they're like virtual store. Oh, I noticed this when I was playing with this this afternoon. I can like sort this by the um, plugins that I need. Like if I'm looking for Final Cut 10 plugins, click on this guy. All of these with the little um, lines on the clapperboard, they're all Final Cut 10 plugins. And here's one I really want to try, this rolling credits, because I was making a credit roll the other night, and that's hard. But anyway, um, FX Factory, callouts, ripple training, awesome, awesome, amazing plugin. Later.